Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got a bread and butter Bolo video for you. Um, most of these items sold for $40 or less. They're easier to find items or items that sell quickly um, for lower margin. Um, this one is not working and it's still sold for $20. And this is the tree house with one figure. The next item is this Rusty Rivets Figures Toys. I always pick up toys at garage sales, even if they're like modern toys. They don't have to be vintage to still sell for decent money. Um, mostly bread and butter, but that's okay. This sold for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. And these are Rusty Rivets. This is Wild Bird. Okay, let me get you. You can see right here is the. Um, Oh, the, the mark. It says Wild Bird on them. These are raccoon dangle drop earrings. These came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I took a best offer on these for $19. Boyd's Bear. Uh, this was a long tail item. I have had him a while, but I had him priced higher because he is just so cute. And I just was willing to wait on that right buyer. And I think he's the has like the Bima. I can't remember. Maybe, maybe not. Some of them have like their like beans in them. Anyway, he sold for $30 and 45 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale a long time ago and I had like a buck or two in him. This I got, gosh, where did I get this? I cannot remember where I got this. Hmm. Was this a thrift store find? I cannot recall. But anyway, it's a haunted Halloween like decor wall hanging. And I cannot believe like I'm so good at remembering where I get weird stuff like this. And I cannot recall. But I took a best offer of $40 on this. But how creepy is that? Um, it actually fell apart. So I got to see how they did it. Like the tape came off the back. And it was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a do-it-yourself, one-of-a-kind type deal, but creepy, great for a haunted house. So I sold this for $40. Okay, this Monster High doll and this Bratz doll, somebody bundled these for $31 and they paid the shipping. Bratz, Monster High, Barbies, I pick these up all the time. Sometimes I bundle them, sometimes I sell them individually. These I happen to sell individually and the buyer bundled them. The next item is this Eddie Bauer Cling Shade. I picked this up at a garage sale for a buck and it sold really fast for $15 in the buyer paid shipping. This is a Barbie choker and necklace and gloves. It's from the Solo in the Spotlight outfit number 982. And I sold this for a best offer of $30 and you can see what it looks like on the Barbie. And um, yeah, if you can figure out what the items go to. It's definitely beneficial and you will make more money. Um, this came from a bulk buy. I bought a whole bunch of Barbie stuff, so I did not have much in it at all. This is magno magnetic photo album refill sheets and they have a product rating of one. Um, but anyway, if you have the photo album, these fit into it and it's a harder to find more of a vintage item. And I sold these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. This my husband picked up at an estate sale for a buck or two and he sold it for $15. It's a vintage perfume for Borgese. I don't know how to say it, but it's 0.5 fluid ounces. It's really tiny. And yeah, so vintage perfume. If you can find the right ones, some of them do really well. Some of them are long tail. Some of them are bread and butter. You just... I pick them up all the time because they're easy to list. This gun Simon's cat sold so fast for $22.50. I picked him up at a garage sale, I think for like 50 cents. My cat's meow is doing really, really well. I bought a huge box full. Actually, I think it was a couple boxes full at a garage sale. I think I paid $30 for all of it. And so these I have probably... 10 cents, maybe 15 cents in each one. 
Um, I can't remember what the exact breakdown was, but I sold this for $13.50 in the buyer paid shipping. This I picked up at a garage sale for like 50 cents. It sold for $16.20. It's a Bob's Burgers trucker hat. This is an antique Victorian shoe. I believe this came from an estate sale. I've had it a while. It's one boot, you guys, just one. And it sold for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. Longenberger napkin rings. I picked these up at a garage sale. I want to say I paid a dollar each for them, if I recall. And I sold two of them because they bought two for $32.40. And then somebody else bought the other two. So pretty good margins on those. I definitely like picking up Longenberger. I don't pick up the baskets, but I do pick up the pottery, like the dishes and stuff like this. All right, somebody, this is from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, my bulk buy. They bought, they bundled this, this, and this for $48. And again, this is that wild bird brand. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, this vintage Playmobil campers and cars and people, I ended up taking a best offer of $30 for this and the buyer paid shipping. Barbie wig. I sold this for $20 and this was again, another Barbie bulk buy bunch of stuff. Um, I just lotted it up to, um, I bought it in a lot and then divided it out. Some of it I lotted and the wigs I sold separately. These shoppy dolls are Shopkins. There were six of them. I bought this at a garage sale. I do believe a, it was again, a bulk buy. So I didn't have much in them. I sold them for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. This vintage Japan Barbie head, again, I think it came in a lot of Barbies that I got. I sold this for $23, buyer paid shipping. Rock and bonk. If you see it, buy it. It's almost always a be on the lookout for me. I always pick this up when I see it, but it's hard to find. I sold, um, this is like the command station and the controller. I sold this for $27 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think... I got this and a couple other things, and I want to say I paid $3 for all of it. Fisher Price Loving Family Table and Chairs. I took a best offer of $10 on this, and I picked it up again with a bunch of Fisher Price dollhouse stuff. This came from my I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay bulk buy, and I sold this best offer of $20 buyer paid shipping. It's a Lenny and Eva brown leather cuff with the free spirit plate. Barbie. Um, this is vintage, but it's not super, super old. And um, I think it's from the 90s. And it's a Walmart special edition. I believe this went internationally. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale, I think for a couple bucks, and it sold for $22.50 in the buyer paid shipping. This sailboat also came from my bulk buy. And I sold this for $20 plus shipping. And it's a sailboat with enamel. It's got like the enamel paint on it. Um, yeah, so 20 bucks for that. This tie is just a tie that I picked up with a bunch of ties at a garage sale. It's vintage. I sold it for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. These came from a garage sale in the free box. They're Pick Me or P-I-K-M-I -I Pops. And it's just a little lot. And they were free and I sold them for $13.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And here's the other part of that rock and bonk, uh, rock and bock. I don't even really know how to say it. Building systems. This is the monorail. And I sold this for $36 and the buyer paid shipping. So definitely be on the look for, look out for those. I've only found them twice and both times they have been a bolo item. So watch out for them that went really fast moving right through. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.